Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over the basics of how to build tilted landing gear in the world of Stormworks. So with that said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay guys, getting started, we're going to go ahead and go into the workbench. We're going to go ahead and go into non-world view. We're just going to basically start off with a basic platform, just like this, and we're going to make a little hanging device just like this and let's build a stand so this will be the leg of the the landing gear this will be the wing and this will just be invisible <laughs> so to start off we're going to do a two truck uh land gear so we're going to go ahead and grab a wheel and we'll place two on each side or sorry one on each side and then what we're going to do now is we're going to grab a velocity pivot right here it has to be a velocity pivot and Basically, we're just going to place it down and we're going to turn the power down to about 1%. So this is going to be a rotating device to rotate the gear down. So rather than going straight across, it kind of goes down at a, well, down at an angle kind of like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're just going to build a couple blocks back like this and we'll, we'll go about one block apart from the wheels. The wheels will be one block distanced. So now we're gonna grab a hinge, sorry, a pivot, and we're just going to place this right here. Now on that pivot, what you're gonna to wanna to do is grab a piston, this one right here, a piston suspension, not this one, because this one is a hydraulic and this one is not. So we'll just go ahead and actually now what we have to do is we'll grab a magnet, either a electrical connector or a fluid connector. A small connector does not work because you actually have to toggle the button manually and electric connector just works better. Plus you don't need power to actually connect it. So we're just going to place it right there and then we'll place this one right here. So basically what's going to happen is this is going to extend and whatever remaining distance it has left, it's going to push this away and this will tilt down slightly and it'll push this back part down. If that makes sense, then great. If it doesn't to you, then you don't have to. All you have to do is spawn it in and it'll show itself. So let's go ahead and move this down and let's spawn it in. See, it is slightly tilted down. I think we're actually gonna have to, um, we're, okay, so what we have to do now, now that it didn't really go far enough, is we'll just place the magnet a little bit closer so it can, yeah, there we go. See, this is a really extreme example of it, but this is a tilted gear. So, it won't really go much further than that, and when it's on the ground, it should, it should, 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 uh, well, it should unfold, is what I'm going to say. So, we're actually going to test that. So, we're going to go into camera mode as we spawn in. It's going to go down, just like this, and, oh, that was kind of a bad example because it kind of went all over the place. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go down four blocks on this side, and then over here, we're gonna go down four blocks to about right here. Well, down to about one block above the ground. Then we're gonna grab a weight block. Actually, we're gonna be able to stabilize really quickly, just like this and this right here. So now we're gonna grab a weight block. These weights will simulate the weight of the plane and we'll just spawn it in. So we have our gear here, and as you can see, it is uh, kind of freaking out. So if it does freak out like that, all you gotta do is start tuning it to the power or the max power on this. So if we do it now, it kind of freaks out like this. Um, actually, normally this doesn't do that. Why is it doing that now? That's kind of weird, but one thing you can do is you can actually lower the power of the suspension and what we'll do now is we'll just basically fine tune it so it doesn't like it, so it's not too powerful and yeah that's basically it so depending on the weight of your aircraft and the stress of it you'll just need to fine tune this so it, it fits the weight of your aircraft perfectly and when it does do this all you have to do is turn up the power of the velocity pivot. So the bouncing, like the constant bouncing, 
That's because the lack of resistance for the velocity pivot. So let's go ahead and turn this up to 10%. Okay, it's doing a little bit of a death wobble. So we're going to turn the power uh, down, maybe 7%, we'll try that. So a lot of this is just trial and error. So it's still bouncing, so we're just going to turn the power up away to see if it stops bouncing. Um, but yeah, so that was too much because you cannot see it reset. So we're gonna just turn it to about 21%. Let's try this. So it's giving a death wobble again. So let's just go ahead and lower the max power of the piston. And I think this will work right here. So let's simply try this and see if, oh, let's go back into the workbench. Let's see if it'll work. Yes, okay. So basically all you have to do is just fine tune this and the velocity pivot to meet the weight of your aircraft. And just like that, you will have a perfectly functional, nice looking butter landing land gear. Well, tilted gear. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys found this entertaining and informative. So I'll see you guys in the next one. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. It'll be linked down below. And while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every single time I upload. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next one. So yeah, bye for now.